What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to do a handstand using only your feet. Well, that's... that's just... standing. You know what? Ignore that one, ignore that one. But, we're going to be continuing with the Eagle Moss Ghostbusters Ecto-1 kit. We are beginning issue number eight this week. So here is the magazine, and let's just flip through it and see what's inside. Obviously, our parts are instituciones, but let's get down to the, uh, the good stuff here in the magazine. Oh, we have Bill Murray, the legend of Wild Bill, and his portrayal of Dr. Peter Venkman. Again, some nice photos and whatnot. All that good stuff. Look what Dan Aykroyd said. Oh, he's nice. Some more stuff, some more things. Pictures, photos. Ah! He slimed me. The Bathtub Monster. The story of the Bathtub Monster. Like concept art there. All that good stuff. Some more concept arts. There you go. I see some early concept arts of things and stuff. And there we go. More things, more stuff. Some quotes. If you want to read quotes, there are some quotes. Lots of quotage to be had. So, there we go. And also, with this shipment, we got an extra little goodie. Uh, we got a t-shirt that's in the wrong size. I asked for a large. They sent me an extra large. Oh, well. Oh, well. Well, if it's not pre-shrunk, I could probably just put it in the wash and shrink it. Because I don't wear an extra large. I asked for a large. I asked for... No, no. I I asked for a large. They sent me an extra large. Oh, well. Actually, this doesn't look... That actually does look big. That looks really big, actually. Yeah, that's not good. That is way too big for me. Oh, my God. But anyway, as you can see, there's a nice image there of the Ecto-1. Kind of a little cutaway photo of it. That's pretty cool. But that looks like it is way too big for me. Is this pre-shrunk? Uh, it doesn't say it's pre-shrunk. Just says 100% cotton. So that means I can just throw this in the wash and shrink it up real good. Put it in the dryer and shrink it up. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause that's way too big. That's way too big for me, but hey. Or I could just have this hanging in the background and uh, can go back to the good old days where I had a t-shirt hanging in the background. I could do that too. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyway, there's the shirts, all that good stuff. And of course we have our set of parts for this week. So let's get down to it. Cause as usual, Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Let's open and continue on with the build. Alrighty, Ooh, we got some heavy stuff. Lots of screws. Lots of screws. Is that it? That's it. Cool. Get out of my life. Get out of my life forever. Open this up. I just. Came open for me, thank you, there we go. Woo, alrighty. So we have our screws, we have our parts. Oh, more screws. That it, anything else hiding here? Okay, cool, cool. So, let's get down to the process here of the building. So what are we building today? We are building the rear chassis and fender liners. Cool! Oh. Okay. All right, let's see. So step one, we are taking this piece here, this, that's plastic, and these bits. These are also plastic. And these are going where and like how. You stay, you stay there. You, mm -hmm. Okay, seems like they're going in or is it like that? No, no, okay, yeah, it's like this orientation. There we go, okay. Then this one goes on either side at an angle, and again, doesn't see, uh, oh, one side, okay, so this kind of like angles in. How is this supposed to go? 
Sure, you know, if you know what the middle shines are, brag if you want to be true. It doesn't say. It doesn't say, but you can see like these, the bits that connect are, you can see they're at a bit of an angle. And I don't know if it matters which way they go. It's not, it's not being specific about it. And that is irksome when they're not specific about it because if not, they're going to be a little back. And if not, they're going to be like kind of pitched forward a little bit. If you do it that way, it's going to be pitched back a bit. How does it need to be? I don't know. This is not specific, not specific at all about how it's supposed to go. Let me, let me, let me refer to some later steps here, see if I can figure it out. Um, it looks like, okay, from this picture, okay. From that picture, it looks like they are supposed to be, it looks like they're supposed to be kind of pitched forward. Okay, okay, I'm going by that, all right. As we're going with, that's what we're going with. That's what we're going with. Okay, so we need we need two AP screws. Oh, we got some AP screws, yeah, for screwing. We're gonna screw some P's, some P's along with some A's, APs. That sounded weird. Okay, these screws are stuck together. How dare they? Okay, so. Okay, so we're assuming they're supposed to be pitched forward a bit, so that's what we're going to go with. That's what we're going to go with. We'll see how this works out. If not, then, you know, it's easy enough to just flip them around. We'll see how it goes. We'll just get them started. And get them started. As we always do, we get them started first. Make sure everything is properly affixed. Hey. Hey, 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 okay, so now that we've done that, now, whisker, whisker, okay, I did the thing, I did the thing, now the world is whole once again, <laughs> so how you guys doing, as always, this is my, uh, this is my time of the week to check up on you guys. How are you doing? How's everybody? How you doing? How you feeling? As always, hope everyone is doing well. Everyone is staying safe. Me, I'm okay. I'm doing good. I'm putting together an Ecto-1, so. Okay, we got that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. So we're gonna put that aside for now. And then we're gonna bring in this slab. We have more slabs. More giant slabs of die cast. Oh man. <laughs> so much die cast. So much. Okay, so what are we doing here? So this is going where? Uh, this is going right here. Okay. Uh -huh. Boom. Right there. Like that. And this is getting. What? Oh, this is getting screwed from the other side? Oh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be awkward. Okay, we're using two, where are they? Where are they? Two JP screws. We're using JP screws, yeah. Wah -ha. JP screws. Not gonna some screws, yeah. Da -da -da. Okay. So, uh, all right, so we need to flip this over to put these screws in place. Which means I'm gonna have to just raise this up and hold it in place and see how we're gonna make this work. Probably should have did this part first. Ooh, okay. Okay, there we go. Ooh, oh, look at that. Skill! Skill! That was skill at work right there. That was skill. So I manipulated that. I manipulated that screw. The screw how I wanted it to screw, that's right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Not M screws, but I can still say that's right. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. But get those nice and snug like a bug in a rug. Yeah. Alright. Okay, there we go. And that is. I believe all we needed to do there. Okay, cool. So now that we have done that, 
we now have to flip this over again. See, I don't want to flip this over with these things here. These, th they want you to flip it over to the other side. And these, maybe this should have been a later step. That would have made more sense. But luckily, you know what? I have my box here. I have my box so I can just rest this on the box. And there you go. Ah, now I don't have to risk damaging those plastic pieces. Because plastic pieces can break. I don't, like the die cast, I ain't worried about the die cast parts. You have to legit try to break die cast, but you know, this, <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty hard to accidentally break die cast, so I ain't worried about that. But those plastic bits, that I'm worried about breaking, so. All right, so what are we doing? So now we're doing the, uh, the wheel wells, basically. So we are just, is there a right or a left? Does it matter? It does not seem like it matters. They both look identical, so okay. Alrighty, so these just go right here. Can you even see what I'm doing? Can you even see? I'm sorry, I'm trying to. It's a case of I want to, I need I need to be able to see what I'm doing as far as looking at the instructions, and I want to make sure you guys are seeing what I'm doing. So it's a lot of just trying to figure out what can be seen and not seen. But, oh wait, there is. Oh, wait a second, there is. Oh, right there. Oh, there is a right and a left. Look, I have a little, look, do you see right there? There you go. R, right there. L, okay. So there is a right and a left. Okay. <laughs> so wait, which which side is the right and which side is the left, though? How am I looking at this? Wait, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at the very last picture here. Okay, so we're doing that. So if we're looking at it this way, that means this is the right, and no, this is the left, sorry. I, I know my sides, I swear. This is the left, this is the right. Okay, so that means this one goes on this side, this one goes on that side. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, all right. Okay, okay. <laughs> See, there, 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 there was a difference. Okay, so what do these get? These get three. Where are they? They're right here because the DM screws. We got some DM screws here. <laughs> okay, so let me just take out six because we're going to need six anyway. One, one, two, three, four, five. Give me a little more. There we go. All righty. And once we do this, oh, we're going to be doing some major assemblage after this. Oh, my God. And this is officially going to be when my Ecto-1 outgrows the box I've had it stored in. Um, <laughs> I just have it stored in a, in a box, in a very long box right now. And after I attach this piece to the rest of the chassis, it's going to outgrow the box. So I'm going to need to find a bigger box to put this in. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. No, no. That's my problem, not yours. Okay. That's my problem, not yours. But hey. We'll make do. We'll make do. It's funny because a couple people have asked me, like, where are you going to put this thing? Where are you going to display it? I have no idea. I have literally no space down here. This basement is, is pretty much overflowing as it is. I have no space down here. So where is this car going to go when it's all said and done? I have no earthly idea. And I'm sweating all over this thing. And I just knocked one of my screws off. Ooh, there we go. But yeah, I have, I have no idea where this is going. No idea whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, eventually, at some point, I will find a home for it, but right now, that's the best answer I can give you. That's as far as I can tell you, as far as where, is, where this is going to go, where is it going to live? I don't know. I don't know. Today, again, that's my problem, not yours. I just unfortunately don't have a whole lot of space down here. Anymore, anyway. Pretty much every square inch of this basement has stuff, you know, piled up. 
I have been trying to get rid of stuff to uh, clear up some space, clear up some much needed space. But with uh, everything that's been going on, with the pandemic and all that, like I've just, I, like I've just kind of put that on the back burner. Like I have been actually like selling stuff off, but because of everything, I just kind of put that on the back burner, just because I'm like, eh, let's just let's wait it out. Wait till I feel a little bit more secure, like shipping stuff out. But yeah, whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right, so. We are done with that step, and now comes the time for attaching this to everything else. Alrighty, let's flip that over. Uh, we might still need the box. You know what? This is empty, so that can get out of my life. And we need to bring. Uh, <laughs> if I have space. Let's see, okay, let's bring all this in. Uh, we are gonna need this also, but not right this second. I'll put that off to the side for now. Okay, so what are we doing here? What are we doing? So, all of this just sits on top of this. Okay, so again, I'm going to need my box for this. Okay. So we'll set this right there, so I don't mess anything up. And then, okay, so what kind of screws is this taking? This is taking, what, LM screws? Ay ay ay, LM screws, yeah, ay ay ay. So we need, what, six? Six of these. That's four. Boop, boop, boop. Five, six, okay. So. Can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see. It's going to get to the point where <laughs> you being able to see is going to be kind of an afterthought because I need to be able to see. But, okay. So that's just going to sit, okay, like that. Boom. Okay. So we need to get some stability in this first. So we need to just put in a couple. Nope, nope that's not that, That's not doing what I needed to do. <laughs> okay. Hold up. Let me, let me just get the screw. On the tip first. There we go. Sit it right there. And then we can line all this up. Get that living where it's going to live. And then we can put the screw in. There we go. And once we get that affixed, the rest will be easy. Oh, God, don't fall apart. You know what? I need to hold that. <laughs> I, I was starting to let it go and it just started to sink and it just I just got a sense of dread there Let me do this side first and then we'll have some more stability here a little bit more not much, but we'll try Okay Okay, I feel a little bit better about that now Okay And Next oh my god, this is a lot Woo! Oh, it's growing It's growing And right now, you can get an idea of just how massive this thing is. Like, this is just... Don't worry, when I'm done when I'm done this, I'll, I'll, I'll push it back as far as I can so you can get a sense of how massive this thing is already. And we're not even done. We're just, we're still working on the foundation of this car. We haven't even started actually building it up. You know what I mean? Like, this is just... We're still on the foundation of this bad boy. Wait till we actually get to all the interior stuff. Ooh, doggy. <laughs> oh, man. But hey, I love it. I'm, I'm loving watching this take shape and grow and grow before my eyes. My baby's growing up. My baby's growing up. All right, let's make sure this one's tight. Which it was not. Now it is. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Dear God! Hold up, I have to do this now. I'll do this now. Look at this. Can we get a, can we get a sense here? Look at that. that. That's pretty much as far back as I can go. But look at that. Look at that. That's insanity. That is the definition of insanity right there. 
not doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. No, the definition of insanity is this. This is insanity right here. This is the definition, the textbook definition. Okay, so now we have to flip. Okay, so now we're flipping this over. So, all right. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Oh, this thing is getting heavy. Okay, so, put this on our box. I'm so happy I had this little box. <laughs> this has become quite useful for me and I'm so happy I have it. Okay. So what are we doing now? So now we are moving things over so you can maybe hopefully see what I'm doing. Okay. So now we are attaching this right here. Or are we? No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. I already did that stuff. Sorry. I confused myself there for a second. Okay. So I already did that step. So we are here now. So this goes, that goes through there. That sits right here. Make sure those hoses don't get caught up in that. Okay. So that seems like that's where all of that is living. This is supposed to, oops, sorry. I'm bumping the camera. Are these supposed to pop through, or is that not supposed to stay up, I guess? Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Although it doesn't seem like this is sitting as low as it's supposed to. Mm. Oh, no. Okay, so... All right, so we have to flip this over again to fix everything. Okay. All righty, so this takes a bunch of CM screws. Okay, so how 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 am I gonna flip this over without this, this thing falling off though, is my question. I'll try, I'll try. Okay, that's kind of awkward, but okay. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. I have to kind of slide this thing off, off the table a little bit. There we go. Don't worry, I, I have another little table that sits next to this table, so that's what it's resting on right now. <laughs> when I do my uh, when I do my reviews, I have a, I have literally a, a comparison table that sits next to this one, so that's where it's on. It's on my comparison table. Okay, so we are doing a bunch of CM screws. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, ten. Ten CM screws. CM screws. CM screws, yeah. We're CMing. You know what? I'll just put these in the little uh, little speaker hole. <laughs> It'll be my little dish. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. One, one, one more. That was not one more, that was two more. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm gonna have to stand up for this. Oh, I gotta go vertical. I have to go vertical for this. Okay. And I need to pull out the instructions so I can see what I'm doing. Oh man, okay. Okay, there we go. So is this supposed to sit? I guess not. So where am I? Where am I screwing? Okay, I'm screwing there. <laughs> I'm trying to get as much of this on camera as I can. But this is kind of one of those points where you just have to trust me. When I say that what is happening is actually happening, but I am, there is screwing happening right now. You can't see it, but you can feel it. <laughs> there we go. We got the one side. <laughs> okay. And now we got this side. Boom. Oh, man. This is really... This is really starting to take shape, ain't it? Okay, so now we are going where, where, where? 
going here, right? Yes. Just got to make sure I'm in the right spot here. Okay. Oh, baby. Hey, what's moving around? Oh, come on. Easy boy. He's a big fella. He's a nail. He's a big fella. I don't know, man. This is, this is just getting, this is just, this is just getting, this is, this is just getting, that's what it's getting. It's just getting, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's okay. It's all right. It's all good. I'm sweating. Get my little towel dab off my hands. All right. Okay. So now, uh, next is where? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Boop. Boop, right there. I believe, right? Yes. Right here. Okay. There. Okay. Nice and snug. Like a bug in a rug. Okay. Next! Who's ready? Who's next? Who's ready? Who's next? Ew. Okay. Got thing right down there. Uh, those plastic pieces are a little bit in a bad position, but they're okay. I can always just bring them out a little bit. Okay, there we go. They're a little safer now. Okay. Okay. Uh, so where are we going now? We are going... We are going, we are going here. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you have to get a little musical about it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean. All right. And we're getting there. We're going way down. We're down here now. Okay. <laughs> Woo. This is a lot. This is a lot, but you know what? It's okay. This is still fun. This is still fun. I don't care. <laughs> this is a lot of work, but it's still fun. I'm still having a good time with this. It just gets a little weird trying to film all of it. That's the thing. It's just a little weird trying to get... Trying to film all of it in a way that you can see everything that's happening. So, my apologies. But hey, I'll work with what I got. And, you know. I'm what they call a guerrilla style filmmaker. You know, I work with what I got. And it's not like this is a tutorial anyway. So even if you don't see what I'm doing, it's not like, you know. <laughs> the instructions are perfectly fine. They're perfectly clear. You can, if you're buying this for yourself, you, you you know what to do. So it's not like this is really a tutorial. So it's not like I really have to be that detailed about exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Like I said, just trust that what's happening is happening. Oh, that is tight. Make sure that's... But I think that's... Yeah, that's as tight as it's going to go. What about this one? Yeah. Yep, there we go. Okay. Alrighty. So we got all that done. And, uh, yeah, we're done here. We're done. That was the last thing we had to do for this. So let's bring this back here. And try. So I bumped the camera again. Let me try. <laughs> there we go. You can see how much... Our baby has grown. <laughs> oh, Lord, this thing is going to be massive. Oh, it's already massive. Look at this thing. Look at that. Look at that. That's insane right there. That is insane. But I believe I got everything done. I'm going to sit back down. But, yeah, there we go. There's our baby right now. He needs, he needs some back wheels there. He needs some back wheels, but... Let me just check my work, make sure I did everything. I did that, did that, did that, that, and that. I did all those, did that, just did all that. Okay, this is what the assembled piece should look like. 
That is what the assembled piece looks like. There we go. We're done. <laughs> we will continue next week. We're done with this week's build. Oh my God. <laughs> and again, this is still just the, this is still just the foundation we're working on. We haven't even started moving up yet. This, this is, oh my God, this thing is going to be massive. But anyway. <laughs> There you go, and as always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff. And of course, if you would like your own Ecto-1, you can always check the link in the description down below. And you can also click on the Ecto-1 playlist, also linked in the description down below if you missed any episodes of this build. And yeah, we're done. Done to take a break. See you next week. So again, hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face.